Hey everybody, what's up? My name is Casey and welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we are going to be doing some work around my island. We have to get this island done, you guys. I'm getting so freaking close and I'm feeling a little inspired tonight. So I figured I would make a video for you all. Um, I did a little bit of waterscaping by my museum. I just have like a couple little smaller areas to fill in around here. But overall, if we take a look at my map, um, you can see that the rivers kind of like connect through the middle a bit. And so I want to see if I can make them connect like on that space on the like middle left part of my island. So we're going to try and do a little bit of waterscaping this video. And then I still have Rudy's yard to figure out like, well, first of all, I have to figure out where I'm going to put him. But second of all, I have to figure out how I want to decorate it. And then I also have Henry's and Lily's yard, I think still left to do. Oh, and Poncho's. Okay. So we have a little bit more work than I expected, but for today's video, I think we're going to try and focus on doing a little bit of waterscaping, connecting some of the rivers on my island, and just seeing if we can make our map look a little bit more aesthetic, if you will. I remember on one of my old islands, um, I think it was Wildwood, it was like my main goal and objective to have like a pretty looking map. And so... I don't know just I took a look at my map a little bit earlier tonight and I was like wait maybe I can try and like build based off of that and so that is what we're gonna do in today's video um, I hope you guys are doing well I let's see I'm recording this right now it is literally 1 a.m. on a Sunday night and so this is I don't know I just kind of get like little bursts of inspiration randomly like tonight I had work and I work second shift mainly and so I got home at like 11.30 and then I just was feeling inspired and so I hopped on here and decided to do a video for you guys. But I wanted to share with you all, I don't know if you guys, if you guys don't follow me on Instagram or Twitter, be sure to check me out on there because I have a exciting little new hobby. So this weekend and over a little bit of the end of last week, I went plant chopping. I'm not sure if I've really talked about this in any of my other videos, but you guys, I am becoming obsessed with like gardening and plants. I got a Monstera plant. I got another one. I think it's called pronounced pathos. So I got some like house plants and then I also have two strawberry plants, a lavender plant and this cute little like flower plant. I think I told you a little bit about this, but um, it's called, I think like a bloom fly. It's so cute. You guys, it's like, it has these like little flowers like sprouting out and they're going to be like yellow, pink, um, and orange. I'm so excited to like see it grow. I don't know. There's something just like really interesting and like fascinating to me about plants, but yeah, so that's kind of what I spent this weekend doing. I also did a little bit of decorating or like designing for my new house. I went to Ikea and I got a bunch of stuff. So I actually got a a rug for my living room. It's like a mint green and we have kind of like a darker, kind of darker gray sectional in there. So it kind of brings a little bit of light to that area. And then we got these photos. Um, they're like little plants and we got like a set of four. But the reason that I brought up like my Instagram and Twitter is because sometimes I post photos of the plants and like kind of what I'm doing like in real life on there. So if you're interested in seeing any of that, definitely check me out on there. Um, as far as like the state of Animal Crossing Instagram, I don't even know what to say about it anymore. It's just so clear that like their algorithm is more geared towards video content, which is understandable, you know, like they're trying to kind of compete with uh, TikTok, but I think it's a losing game for them, unfortunately. But I still post pictures there every now and then, but I do kind of want to keep my focus on my YouTube channel. Um, tomorrow, actually, I'm going to try and set up like a little bit more of my streaming. Um, I know that the past couple times I've done some test streams, it's just been there's been a, not issues, but things that I need to work on, like a starting screen and like stuff like that. And so 
I'm gonna work on that a little bit tomorrow. But anyways, back into the video. So as you can see, I'll just show you guys my map again. Um, I connected like that river, so it kind of looks like cohesive. I also see a, a space behind my nook's cranny where I could possibly try and connect those two rivers. So let's run on over there and see what we can do. Um, I would like to have this island look as kind of like natural and foresty as possible and I feel like when you have your rivers connecting it just looks more natural but let's say hi I don't I don't want to talk to Harv yet but let's see what little Mabel is doing how's your day going honey chat with me they say you shouldn't start your day without a plan but they also say plans are fool's errand yeah Mabel I know every villager says that did you need me honey I forgot she says honey Seems fitting to set up a log stool outside. The style matches the setting. Yes, Mabel, you get the vibe. It totally matches up the setting. Okay, and now you're going to do a little workout at 5.30 a.m. I respect the grind, girl. That could never be me, though. <laughs> um, okay, let's go up here and see how we can connect. Oh, gosh, I don't know. Shoot. What did I want? I wanted to connect. Hold on, I need to look at my map again. So I wanted to connect this area to the area down here. And I'm not entirely sure if that is possible. Because as you can see, I have... Okay, so that's the little waterfall right there that I'm trying to connect. But I made this area, like, I just wanted it to be like a cozy, cute little seating area. So I don't know if it's going to be possible to connect these two rivers at least not right now because if we come back down here i'll show you guys like i have so many trees back there because when you're looking at my nooks it just makes the area feel like really full and foresty and i think trying to connect those two rivers would just be a little bit too difficult and so maybe what we're gonna do is come back over to my museum because i think that was the only area left that I really could connect rivers maybe you know what maybe I could do it a little bit on the right side of my island but then that I have my yard hold on let's go run over there real quick because I think maybe I could connect two more two more rivers because I don't have much going on like right next to my my reps yard so let's go ahead and see oh gosh I forgot you have to go this way no Silvana why i love you you're never freaking leaving my island i don't care you can have the thought bubble for five years you're never leaving never leaving also this is not supposed to be an apple tree but we can just ignore that um let's go ahead and come up here so again looking at my map for the 1500th time but the area that i want to connect is right by that incline so we have to run through this little like foresty nature area that i've built okay so this is the area right here this would involve oh gosh i think a lot of redoing and waterscaping <laughs> and terraforming but maybe the only thing is that if i try and connect these areas i would have to i could take out a lot of this stuff you know let's just let's see if we can go for it i do have to empty my pockets real quick i decided that i'm going to incorporate a lot of like blues and purple flowers i just think it complements the green nicely i also again inspo taylor isle uh, isle of noyo or noyo on instagram i saw she was using these flower combinations together and i was like yes that's a vibe so she's definitely the inspiration for that check her out on instagram her builds are just so just so incredible you guys she is a very very talented creator but okay we got the pockets emptied now what i'm thinking is maybe grab up some of these items honestly i think this was like one of the first like areas i built on this island and i was kind of just like filling in the space kind of sporadically randomly i think though what we may have to do shoot i wish i had turnips but i don't you know what here we go thinking on the fly what we can do is go to my storage shed and we will just grab a food item and eat it because if you guys grab the food items and eat them it gives you like five energy or whatever it's called so let's see what would be yes okay we're gonna eat some pancakes uh i'm gonna just try and do things that i have doubles of but these are so cute okay we'll just do that for now and see much see how much food energy that will give us so let's eat the pancakes yes that looks so good i wish i could have pancakes right now but okay perfect it gave me five energy 
which should be enough to dig up the couple trees that I would need to get out of the way to move to kind of try and connect these two areas. Um, also, I think I mentioned in my last video that I was like feeling burnt out and whatnot. I just wanted to say it is so nice to like feel inspired to play the game again. Like if I'm being honest with you guys, it's a little bit scary to try and like start streaming Animal Crossing when this game came out like in 2020 and I just, I don't know how many people are still playing. Also, you guys, my cat is going insane in the background, so I'm sorry if you hear any like weird noises. But anyways, yeah, it's just been kind of, I, I don't know, intimidating, if you will, um, to start trying to stream this game. Oh my god. Moonbeam, are you okay? He has his toy with like the catnip. Here we go. This toy makes him go insane, so we will hide that from now. Um, sorry. But it is kind of scary to try and like stream Animal Crossing. I don't want to say like I'm late to the party, but it just kind of fe it feels like that sometimes. But I'm going to just try my best to create content when I'm feeling inspired and when I have something like, you know, good to share with you guys. I don't want to just push out content for the sake of pushing out content. And I think maybe hopefully when I start streaming, I could maybe start doing a little bit of other games, games that you guys are playing. Let me know in the comments, what games are you guys playing right now? Like, are you guys kind of over gaming? Like, I know it's coming into summer and like a lot of people will maybe like be spending more time outside. So if you're not gaming right now, that's totally cool. I feel that, that's a vibe. I spend a lot of time outside too and taking care of my plants. But yeah, let me know what you guys are playing in the comments below. Also, let me know how you're doing. Like, I hope you guys are doing well overall. I know kind of life can get crazy and the state of the world can be overwhelming. So I hope my channel can provide like a little bit of an escape for you guys at the very least. Like you can just come here, we can hang out, we can do a little Animal Crossing building and we can just vibe out together. So I hope I can kind of provide some sort of escape. I remember, gosh, like in the beginning of 2020, it was just the world was insane. It was a mess and <laughs> Animal Crossing provided a great escape for, I know, not only me, but a lot of other people. So I hope that I can still provide that at least to some extent for you guys. And to the people who have supported me since the beginning, I appreciate it more than you know. I actually got a message on Instagram from somebody who saw one of my videos today and said that um, she pronounces the word bag like similarly to me. Um, and it just really made my day. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I mentioned in my last video that people say that I say the word bag weirdly <laughs> or like bagel. Like, I don't know. I'm from the Midwest, so it's just a weird pronunciation. But anyways, that message made me really, really happy today just because it felt good to know that like you guys are watching my content and it just made me really happy. But let's take a little status check on the map. Okay, in order to maybe connect these two areas, I would have to get rid of my honey farm. I don't want to get rid of my honey farm. So you know what we're going to do? We're going to come back up here. And this is what I do. You, like terraforming for me is not ever really super, super intricate and like planned out to every extent. I kind of just work on the fly. So what I'm going to do is come up here. Unfortunately, I have too many items. So we will just eat this because I need to dig up that those little potatoes over there so this is what I'm gonna do I'm gonna dig this up and then we're gonna see I think I should be able to split this cliff shoot I might have to dig up yeah I'm gonna have to dig up these uh, tulips but <laughs> once again I don't have any space in my pockets so we will come down here the struggle you guys sometimes I'm just like why did Nintendo only give us 40 pocket space? Like, okay, I get that it's supposed to simulate, like, you know, building an island. And if you're lost on a deserted island, you're not going to have freaking a lot of space to carry things. But at the same time, like, if we could just get 10 more slots for storage in our pockets, that would be just incredible. But I'm going to try and just take what we have and go with it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and make it like, I think I might just leave it like this for now because then right here, like the terraforming, it looks okay. It looks a little bit different. 
We'll just plant a flower there. We'll call it a day. It doesn't have to be perfect or anything, but let's go down here and then we can connect this upper level of waterscaping to this level below it. And then it'll at least give our map a little bit of like variety, if you will, for lack of a better word. But we'll come down here, grab the waterscaping tool, and then I can still keep my honey farm because I just think that's so cute and I love the little like honey signpost. So maybe i don't know if i i don't really like how that looks we'll just leave it like that and then we'll round out this little edge right here and then we'll take a look at the map now and see if it looks a little bit better and more connected okay i think that works i think that's kind of a vibe so we will leave that for now and then what we can do is we can take we'll just fill in this area a little bit and so i'm happy we were able to do like a little bit of progress on my island tonight um it's bigger areas for whatever reason they're just becoming like a little bit intimidating to me i'm like i don't know i don't know maybe it's just that I, it's like kind of hard for me to start so like as far as like doing like some of my villager yards like it just is a little bit i don't know why it's just a little bit scary to try and think of starting to design but i think we got like decent progress for today's video i do want to show you guys one other little area really quickly that i have to design and that i honestly have no idea what i'm going to put over here but oh i still have a yellow um lily back there but we have okay so this area is like a little garden shop like back there and then we have some like natural like waterscaping over here oh and flicks on my island but here this is the area so I'm not sure what I'm gonna put here because it's always like hard for me to try and design like these little spaces that are like blocked off and like on the corner of my island. And so if you guys have any ideas of what you think I should put here, I would love to incorporate it into a video. Um, where right now what I'm thinking of doing is like maybe doing some of the like kids tents and like doing some more like natural waterscaping like on the side so if you guys think that's a freaking vibe let me know in the comments but for now I think we're gonna go ahead and end off the video here I hope you guys enjoy this video and I hope you guys are doing well let me know what games you're playing in the comments below and please if you guys enjoy my content please subscribe to my channel it supports me more than you guys would know comments also really help support me and kind of get the video out into the youtube algorithm but i hope you guys were able to kind of get some insight into how i do waterscaping and how i try to like plan my island out it's planned but not planned but anyways thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys have a good rest of your day and i'll see you in the next one Bye.